Hello, we continue uh, presenting new features of EBS and Suite release 12.2.4 and uh, an enhancement was the proxy user which is something that we have seen in, in past releases but it's completely enhanced right now uh, uh, in 12.2.4 uh, so a couple of things related to the proxy user. Um, it will allow us to delegate, so a user will be able to delegate uh, uh, actions and functions to another user. Uh, and you know this will, will eliminate cases and where you know, uh, an executive is sharing the password and, and username with an, you know, an, an administrator uh, or you know, in cases where you know, someone is leaving, uh, for vacation or, or, or a need to have someone else uh, covering uh, the uh, daily activities. Um, let's first of all let's define uh, three things here, three uh, new terminology and, and, and new uh, actors on these. One is the delegator who is actually the one that is authorized to delegate functionality. Then we have the proxy user Okay, who is the one that uh, acts on behalf of the delegator and the administrator. So I'm, I'm logged in as system admin and I'm going to go to the responsibility user management. Within that responsibility, there is a, a, a function called proxy configuration. Within proxy configuration, we're going to have three uh, different tabs. One tab is exclusions. So within this tab, you can set up, okay, which responsibilities will not be able to be delegated uh, to any proxy user. Um, then we also have another tab for policies. There is a wide variety of policies that have been created and seeded by Oracle that will allow you to you know, uh, either have uh, delegators direct reports or second line. So and also you can create uh, your own policy uh, with uh, some SQL. Uh, the third tab is privileges. So within privileges, you will be able to select roles or responsibilities um, that will enable uh, to the delegation of uh, to a proxy user. In this case, by default, it's all users, uh, and you can select and restrict that from a system administrator. So for the purpose of uh, showing you how this works, uh, I'm going to go and log off as sysadmin and log in as operations. Uh, and by logging in as operations, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this new, you know, this is a global header, the new global header. And within the new global header, I'm going to go to manage proxies. So within manage proxies, I have already one created Okay, so I'm going to go open it and update so you can see the different options that I have. First of all, I'm going to add which username and then select from and to active dates. Then I'm going to have you know, a, a note that will be added to the work for notification to the proxy user. And then I have two options here, grant responsibility is access where I can say, okay, I want to grant all the responsibilities that I have assigned, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm operations here, and I'm assigning, assigning to user C Brown, uh, or I can select which responsibilities. Then on the, on the next uh, section is work list. So I can select all the work list, or I can just select which ones I want to have that uh, delegated uh, to the proxy user. Okay, so once I have that done, um, I'm going to move into a different tab, different browser, and I'm logged in as Karen Brown. So with this user, uh, you see in the global header, there's a new icon. Okay, this new icon is uh, the new icon created to switch the user. So I'm logged in as Karen Brown, and I'm going to click to switch user. Now here it's the user operations that I'm a proxy to and if I have more than one I will see the list here. Now on this there is a, a, an action you know 
button that's here, the switch user. So I'm going to click here and you're going to see that little chain here. So it says that I'm logged on as CBROM, but I'm proxy for operations. If you see here, the display completely changed and that is because operations user has a simplified menu referred to the video that we just published on how to set simplify for user. So you see that all the details, all the, the profile options for operations are being um, captured by CBrown as proxy user. Um, now, on the other hand, if I click on uh, this, not only works for uh, HTML pages, it also works for form pages. So I'm going to be jumping in into a form page and you will see that in the header of the form, uh, there is going to be um, a, a, a description that in this case, this is not, uh, this is not just a, a user, it is a proxy user. So I just open the form and as you can see, I'm logged in as C Brown, but it's a proxy user for operations. So even in forums, it works. So a um, couple of things, important things uh, on the proxy user. It has seamless, seamless integration with the security, so no need for extra setups. Uh, it works on, on HTML or Oracle application framework pages. It works on forms. It works on all different you know, notification and workflows. And now something important is that you will have to take this into consideration um, when creating customizations. Um, and then in, in the case that you don't work on customization, you will need to restrict that uh, at the security level in terms of you know, the, um, the, the setup as a sysadmin. Uh, there's also a, a proxy report and there's a seeded functionality to check the information that was created uh, by a proxy user. Thank you.